music. We are in cranberry bog territory. Look at those bogs. They're just everywhere. Carver, Massachusetts currently. On our way to Plymouth. Look, look cranberry. another cranberry bog. This is cranberry land. This is the place. Hey, look, a cranberry a bog. Cranberry bog. <laughs> another beautiful bog. I never really liked cranberries as a kid, but I'm kind of like in the mood for cranberries. Chocolate covered fresh cranberries are delicious. Yeah. Because you get the sweetness and the bitterness together. That's an amazing That's what you want. You want the bitter and the sweet, or the salty and the sweet especially. Gloria's taking pictures of ducks. Last year, we went to the Mayflower. The year before that, we went to Plymouth Plantation. But now, the miscellaneous. We're gonna see the grist mill. I'm having a great fall day already. That duck. That's a goose. Gloria's getting ready to defend herself. <laughs> that goose is gonna kill John. Yeah, bye. Gloria. I would stay away from him. I love the whole idea of this. I love like an event board, like community event board. All right, you guys ready for a grist mill? I think we learned last year that when you're in downtown Plymouth, a lot of fudge. Yes, I see a sign, just saw a sign for it right there. I continue to not be a huge historic fan of fudge. However, you, you could get me to try anything. Look at the pumpkins. Waterfall. Somebody's got to rescue those pumpkins. I will. The Jenny Gristmill is a reproduction gristmill and water complex. The gristmill is located at what was then known as the Sixth Water Privilege. Blah, 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 yakety smackety. I'm like, what's the Sixth Water Privilege? <laughs> Show me. What's on the other side of the shell? <gasps> Oh, horses! Look, you can get fresh cornmeal, yum, from the Plymouth Grist Mill. Actually sounds delicious. Where history plus science equals fun. Hmm, I don't know about the math on that one. Maybe it's uh, more than a sum of its parts. <laughs> yes. How do you like the size of this picnic? I love thing? it. Yeah. I have done this on other picnic tables, they go, <laughs> this one, not going anywhere. They're not really giving us the hard sell on anything. This whole thing is set up as like, you could come buy something and Sure. Do tickets. You would just, just walk around here. Milling about. I think that's kind of why I love it. You guys who just us came in, welcome to the grist mill. Cornmeal are these finer pieces, more for baking and breads. Have you ever wanted to know how cornmeal is made? Sure. I take a big okay. stone. So we are talking a lot with these guys about, about mechanics of the mill and how it works. We know that the millstones are at least as old as March 5th. 1873. Wow. Which is a super specific date, right? We found a newspaper encapsulated in this stone. It's an ad for a mill that was in our mill stones. We thought that was super cool. The water wheel moves this bigger gear called the face gear. Or is this uh, a new construction? Yeah, so it's new. Most of the things that you saw upstairs is from Pennsylvania and that iron spindle, but the water wheel and the gears were made for us in the 70s. I mean, I thought it was actually really interesting. The gears are really cool. Yeah. It's like, wow, this is a bit of wood. Like, you can learn all about water wheels. And the breast shot. That's the breast shot sloosh. That one's really good. Wow. That's, that's, do it again. They're actually going to grind corn today at 1 p.m. So we can come back with our, with our existing ticket if we so desire. You're going to color in a corn. You're going to join the wall of corn. And you can read the first issue of Corn Aplenty. If you really like it, you can get a subscription. Yeah, you're doing it. It's like the Sith Wayfinder. Oh, yeah. Some photos of the building of the Plymouth Grist Mill from 69 to 70. I love period photos. Okay, that's that's that piece right there. I want like a normal corn. You want standard yellow and green? That's a good corn. Look at that corn. That's quite a crazy corn. Yeah, it is. Does it make you hungry for ancient corn? Not particularly. I, I don't really like cornmeal or I don't like grits at all. Oh yeah, we learned the origin of milling around. As they were waiting basically for their corn to be milled. You just mill around. You just mill around. And they think maybe, yes, rumor mill. Yeah, rumor mill. This is a board full of jokes. Tell us your corny jokes. Why shouldn't you tell secrets on a farm? Because the corn has ears and the potatoes have eyes. <laughs> a piece of corn is called an ear of corn. An ear. Why was the ghost afraid of corn? Because it was eerie. What did the farmer say when his corn wouldn't grow? What? Aw, shucks. You have to have more points of reference to understand these jokes. <laughs> it's a rock that's too heavy to lift if you just try to lift it. I've been reviewing data about corn, including the anatomy of the brain, the different uh, visual identification of corn. I feel like much more informed about corn. Really? Yes. In corn? In corn. Tomato is just pure corn. <laughs> well, pure corn. No tomatoes. You can fill out a testimony about how important corn is to you. 
Oh, it's foam? You know, couldn't you just find a real rock and paint 1629? I like these kind of tree-ish pencils. Oh, that's pretty cool. I would never buy something like this. I love seeing it though. I don't need like Miss Junk, but I love Miss Junk. I'm a little drawn in. I'm throw by these Christmas, ornament? ornament. Christmas ornaments. Don't you want it? You clearly want it. Yeah. It's so cheap too. It's six bucks. It's oh yeah. It's not even gouchy price. It's become something of a Thanksgiving tradition for us to come to Plymouth and buy her a Thanksgiving book. Yeah, totally. She, we have that one, and she knows this one from school. Dude, if they have those chocolate-covered cranberries, I got that one here. I'm getting them. You won't think ill of me, will you? Of course not. <laughs> I will. I will try one. I'm okay. gonna get the pumpkin pie flavored one. I try some of that too. I do. There is a big market for specialty popcorns. We generally only have one type of popped corn, and these must be like alternate varieties. Mm. And they have like a chart here that tells you like the flavor, the kernel size, the texture. That could be its own museum. I would go to the popcorn museum. Sure. Look at that cheese cutter. Isn't that cute with the mouse? Corn candy. The mill painted in a show. It's cute. It's very like knickknack. Yes. You know? Pure maple sugar candy. Sounds tasty. I'm sure it is very good. Milk chocolate cranberries. Oh. A They're very nice. A fancy raisinette. I'm not getting a ton of cranberry flavor. The chocolate's very good. Don't they have craisinets that you can yeah. buy now? It seems about the same experience. I like them. And then we have our pumpkin pie fudge as well. I have to get the pumpkin pie fudge serving spoon out because it is embedded in the side of the fudge. Ooh, sweet. Not too sweet. You take a basic unflavored fudge and add pumpkin spice. Mm. That's the experience that I'm getting. It's a very pleasurable experience, but I don't think I could eat more than about that amount. This is the fudge issue I always have, you know? It tastes like the creamiest part of a pumpkin pie with a fudge je ne sais quoi. Yeah. yeah. I think it's delicious. Bye. 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 She's telling Courtney to buy a piece of corn from her corn shop. Try your pumpkin pie fudge. Ooh. Ooh. Dangerous though. John said it's too sweet. What you want to buy no, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like in the real grist mill. It makes it go up and down a monkey. It's a, it's a Macaulay book. He has been writing those books since I was a kid and I've always loved his books. So. Yeah. And it was like a, a book of his called How Things Work. It was oh. so good. There's always like pages that fold out and yes. like things that slide yeah, over. Yeah, like big diagrams as like a, a technically minded youngster. I love that stuff. And how's that pumpkin pie? <laughs> it's just frosting, like pumpkin flavored frosting. Ooh. Yes, it is basically pumpkin flavored frosting. Well, why don't we go into the restaurant and we can look at that book together? The specials are all Thanksgiving-y. Like you can get a Thanksgiving calzone mm -hmm. or a cranberry buffalo something. No, eat meat. You don't want me to eat meat? Mm -hmm. A lever is simply a bar that tilts on a fulcrum. A fulcrum! I did get the Thanksgiving calzone. I don't regret it at all. A stuffing, turkey, mozzarella. Oh yeah, there's cranberries. There's cranberries. Get a little gravy dip. Oh yeah, a gravy dip. It's good. Yeah? It's basically like a Thanksgiving sandwich in a nice thin wrapper. Exactly. It's like a turkey sandwich. Yeah, it's good. The turkey really kind of overtakes it. It's like all turkey. Though. It's like throughout. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it's, it's more sandwich than... It's more machine than man. I've never seen this before. A COVID fee. I'm bewildered. Is it for additional sanitizing supplies? I mean... Just a little something I'm, something, 50 I'm, cents? I'm like... <laughs> I do understand how COVID may cause places to require like a premium or increase their prices or... Sure. By the way, Mike, my calzone people of the internet with $17. <laughs> your pizza was only $8, which seems very fair. I think I know why your calzone is so expensive. Why? Thanksgiving fee. Oh, I didn't even think of it. You can't get something that Thanksgiving in Plymouth. Thank, Thank you. The water wheel is actually wheeling. They grind in the corn. They grind once a week. We were this lucky. Dude, would you like to go down there? I, I would like to go, if you don't mind. Can you smell the corn in the air? I can. That is pretty cool. And look, you can see right there. Corn exit. Pretty cool. Wow. She's still really into this. It's pretty amazing to see this thing run. It's so big and very dangerous and shaky. There's a lot of vibration from those stones. When they built this in the 60s, they didn't really have a good understanding of how to build a mill because no one has really had one. The guy who designed it based it off of a book from the late 1700s, yeah. but he had never built a mill before. He was just yeah. doing it from former blueprints and description. When he put it together, they connected the frame of the mill to the frame of the building, so the building shakes. They found out later, I guess, that you don't do that they actually two separate framed structures sort of dangerous and powerful and mechanical and primitive i mean obviously very impressive but just in a way that i'm gonna lose an arm or an eye <laughs> milling your
your own porn must have been the most horrible, time-consuming effort in the world. And I thought that it was worth building what was the discotheque of its time. Yeah. That you would wait outside to get in here and build your porn. Gloria's decided we're flying a kite, but there's no wind. Very little. Can we play <laughs> run, Gloria, run! You got it! You got it! That's mommy! Are you can do it. Hey. Do you want to fly it, love? I'm in charge of this kite. Why am I holding it? Woody, that's my bus. That's my kite. It's falling with style.